Summary Jeffrey Paschal's crimes are serious. He's currently serving an 18-year prison sentence for aggravated kidnapping and domestic assault. Varya Molina, Jeffrey's partner on 90 Day Fiancé, B90, has said that their relationship has featured disappointment, cowardice, and betrayal. Jeffrey has a history of appearing in crime-themed TV shows, such as Homicide Hunter, Murder Calls, and Snapped, Killer Couples. This may indicate a passion for the genre, but it's troubling given his own criminal history. 90 Day Fiancé star Jeffrey Paschal started turning into a monster years ago, and now, he's behind bars. In hindsight, casting him in the 90DF franchise was foolhardy, but some unsavory facts about Jeffrey didn't surface until he was already a reality TV show star. Now, the die is cast, and there are so many good reasons to cancel this man, who ultimately chose violence. While his partner Varya Molina is sticking by him, maybe she should NT. Is he really worth waiting for? No, but there are signs that she may be using her relationship to stay famous. Jeffrey and Varya appeared in 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 4. He was smitten with his Russian partner, but she wasn't totally convinced that committing to Jeffrey was a good idea. Her hesitance made Jeffrey angry. Thanks to his issues, Jeffrey will be in prison for 18 years. To get such a harsh sentence, a person has to make serious mistakes. While the word villain is used in a light way sometimes, Jeffrey is a true villain. There's nothing cartoonish about his crimes. He isn't the Joker, he's a real villain. What he did's a big deal. 8 Varya Molina referenced cowardice while taking about Jeffrey Paschal 90 Day Fiancé's Varya Molina's quite open about life, and in her usual confident style, she once discussed her relationship. Back in October 2021, Varya talked about her ups and downs with Jeffrey. The post wasn't too unusual, but her usage of the word, cowardice really stood out. That's a very strong word to put in a post that so many fans are going to see, especially when the post references the always controversial Jeffrey. Varya wrote, For the past 2.5 years, we have had so many ups and downs. In our relationship, there were times of love and disappointment, cowardice and heroism, betrayal and forgiveness. But there wasn't ever a place for indifference. Then, she got to the point, which was the fact that she wanted fans to send her money. Varya said the funds would be used to, help the justice to be served. She added that Jeffrey's son Dakota was the one who began raising funds on behalf of the entire family. The money was supposed to be used to try and clear Jeffrey's name. However, that seems extremely sketchy. They don't generally throw people in prison for 18 years without ample evidence. Sure, there are occasionally situations where the wrong person's convicted, but this isn't one of those sorts of mistaken identity scenarios. Those who've accused Jeffrey of wrongdoing know him well. They aren't witnesses who couldn't quite remember the faces of perpetrators. Varya's open, but she was a bit coy in the post. She talked about some extremely strong emotions, but wouldn't elaborate on who was a disappointment, who was a coward, and who was a betrayer. Perhaps both of them played those roles at times. However, it's also possible that, if only subconsciously, she was telling the public secrets about Jeffrey without giving too much away. Varya won't give up on Jeffrey, no matter what he does. She thinks he's a good man, despite some doubts that she's expressed on screen. 7. Jeffrey Paschal denied being fired from the 90DF franchise Close Jeffrey may have felt ashamed when he started denying that had been fired from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. However, it's clear that he's the reality TV equivalent of box office poison.
Jeffrey skipped the tell-all, as per comments he made in an Instagram Live, and tried to make it seem like it was his choice not to appear. However, that stance led to as much skepticism as it's possible to get. No one really believed that he stayed away from the event because he wanted to. Jeffrey, who's known for his surprising prison makeover, is all about trying to brazen it out. He doesn't want to get into messy details about his misdeeds with the public. He wants to look like a good person. Unfortunately, a judge and jury decided that he's a very bad dude. The book was thrown at him, and it's safe to say that brazening it out isn't enough to convince detractors that he's not a monster. Neither is some shady fundraising campaign that's designed to clear his name. A Knox County jury found Jeffrey guilty. It's not like he didn't have a fair trial. A judge, who's trained to think critically, accepted that jury's verdict. Someday, he may drop the tiresome innocent act. It would be better to take accountability, rather than constantly trying to pretend he's an innocent man. It's only when people get real that they're perceived as authentic. He's playing the part of a wrongly convicted guy, but this isn't the fugitive. They don't just hand out those stiff sentences to everyone. It takes a lot of evidence to sentence someone to 18 years in prison. 6. Jeffrey appeared in some creepy TV shows, Homicide Hunter, Murder Calls More. Jeffrey has quite a few TV credits, and while he's not a convicted murderer, Art seemed to be imitating life when he appeared in the 2017 Homicide Hunter season. Most of his credits are in the crime niche, and in the series shown above, he played Agent Klein. The episode is called Time Bomb, and Jeffrey could actually be described that way. He's the ticking time bomb who ended up in the slammer due to crimes that were incredibly creepy and disturbing. Homicide Hunter is a documentary crime series that features reenactments of criminal activities. It also showcases the actions of investigation teams and discussions with the families of victims. It's centered on Lt. Joe Kenda's remarkable success rate. He solved 92% of his cases, and specialized in finding murderers. As per IMDb, Jeffrey, who is 59 tall and was born on September 12, 1977, also appeared in Fatal Attraction, the TV series, not the famous movie, Murder by Numbers, another TV show, and the television series, Murder Calls and Snapped, Killer Couples. Since he seems to gravitate towards crime-themed acting roles, he may have a passion for the genre. That's interesting as he's now a criminal himself. Ted Bundy used to love reading true crime magazines. People who do crimes are typically into crime stuff. While Jeffrey's no serial killer, he may have loved learning about the lives of other criminals and portraying them. He might also have enjoyed posing as law enforcement officers or CSI techs while the camera is rolled. Ted Bundy used to wear a fake sheriff's badge, that was one way that he tricked the unsuspecting. 5. Jeffrey was arrested on drug charges in the late 1990s he was accused of possessing controlled substances on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days, Virgo Jeffrey was authentic. He got real with Varya about his criminal history, at least as it pertained to drugs. In the past, he was apprehended for possessing a range of controlled substances, he might have had methadone, opiodes and amphetamines, which are Schedule II controlled substances. He also possessed a milder drug, such as weed, which fit the Schedule VI category. In addition, he was charged with possessing a Schedule I drug, such as shrooms. Jeffrey didn't dispute the charges. He chose to plead guilty instead. It sounds like he was caught red-handed with a bunch of drugs, and pleading guilty was really the only option.
Jeffrey was convicted, and received a sentence of a little more than 11 months. Varya sobbed when Jeffrey's appeal was denied. For Varya Molina wasn't sure she could trust Jeffrey Paschal on the show close, Varya stands by her man, but that doesn't mean that she has no reservations. On screen, she was vocal about her doubts, which crept in even though the Russian woman's naturally optimistic. She once said, I love him but I am not sure if I could trust him in everything, I am not ready. The fact that she didn't fully trust her partner was telling. While it could be argued that she's blinded by love, some part of her is aware of the red flags. She simply chooses to gloss over what's less appealing about her villain partner. This willful ignorance isn't helping her, as she's defending an abuser of women, as per the court. This man was convicted of assaulting an ex, and that's not a minor offense. When she paints him as an innocent man, she comes off like a villain too. She damages her own reputation. She's typically a sunny presence on screen, but her decision to back a man who's done such things shows that she may have a dark side too. Most women would run from a man with this type of background, but she's right there by his side. What does that say about her? Are they both evil? Maybe not, but Varya must understand why people have doubts about her, just like she has doubts about Jeffrey. In her defense, she was appalled when Jeffrey came clean about his criminal record. One of her relatives overdosed at the age of 28, so she knows firsthand what can happen when a person starts using street drugs. She said she wouldn't have gotten involved with Jeffrey if she'd known the truth at the start. Nonetheless, she chose to stay with him. Now, she has a partner who's in prison, what kind of life is that? Her love after lockup style romance can't be truly fulfilling. It's a sad outcome for Varya. She's an outgoing woman who loves to explore and have fun. Free Jeffrey Paschal gets mad when Varya Molina's having fun on 90DF. B90. Varya turned down Jeffrey's proposal, wounding him emotionally. It seemed like the duo were done, but then Varya showed up at his front door in America, ready to try again. Had been in the process of moving on, and was even hanging out with another woman. He tossed that other female to the side in order to be with Varya. Now, she's free and he isn't. She said he doesn't like it when she's having a good time, probably because he's locked up and can't do the same. However, a good man would want the woman he left behind to be happy. He wouldn't complain to that person and try to rein her in. Varya's adventurous and definitely not the type to sit at home a lot. She can't be happy in a cage, even if it's metaphorical. So, why can't Jeffrey support her as she tries to be happy during his very long prison sentence? This guy seems jealous, insecure and very controlling. 2. Jeffrey Paschal tried to make himself look good online when the bad news about Jeffrey's past started circulating online, his strategy was to post a lot of deep thoughts at Instagram, some of which are unintentionally comedic. When he isn't humble bragging about being a deep thinker, he's showing off his carpentry skills, and he's often shirtless while he does it. This man has an ego which has gotten him into trouble. Under that ego, there's so much rage. The narcissism is palpable, and that's why the posts are often laughable. A truly secure man wouldn't need to try so hard. His Instagram's an exercise in damage control and his approach to marketing himself sketchy. If he was really that sensitive and aware, would he have gotten convicted for committing so many serious crimes? Probably not. 
One Jeffrey Paschals in prison for aggravated kidnapping domestic assault, he got an 18-year sentence. It's rare that a 90-day fiancé star gets convicted of crimes this major. Jeffrey stands out as a franchise monster because he crossed the line repeatedly. This is a man who was convicted of slamming a woman's head into a wall over and over again. The victim is his ex-fiancé, Kristen Wilson. He also dragged her along the ground and wouldn't give her access to her cell phone. To be on the receiving end of this type of abuse would be terrifying. The victim would fear for their life. Jeffrey's doing hard time because he deserves to. Hopefully, if he gets out, he won't hurt anyone else. Sources Varya Molina IMDb, Jeffrey Paschal, Instagram